somebody looked out and said, Look, something's kind of walking on the water. Something's walking on the water. Some said it was a spirit. One said, No, said it's Jesus. Jesus said, Be of good cheer. It's I. Be not afraid. It's I. Be not afraid. Here he came walking on the sea of sin. And it was utterly steep. Peter said, Lord, said, if it you bid me to come. He said, Peter, come. Oh, Peter just jumped off the boat. Land on the water. Begin to walk on the water. He walked on the water. Yes, he did. Amen. Yes, he did. Amen. Walked on the sea of sin. Just walked on it. Amen. But something happened to him. Something happened to him. There he was. Tread upon water. Gravity couldn't pull him under. But something happened to him. Storm. The wind. Caught his attention. If you'll notice, 80% of testimonies is the storms and not Jesus. Huh? Yes. By our testimonies, we overcome us. But 80% of testimonies are storms. But it was the storm and the pump and the wind. Off the problem solver. Let me tell you something. The devil will put every storm, every principality, every power of hell against you. And he's not trying to against you. He's trying to get your eyes off of Jesus. He's trying to get your eyes off the very one that you've got to keep your eyes on. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a multitude of people. Absolutely. that started walking on the waters. But now they're going on there. You know why? The problem, the storm, the trouble, the wind. That's right. And they can't stand it no longer. Yeah. They can't stand it no longer. You know what Peter does? He got his eyes off the very one that made him walk on the water. He got his eyes off the very one that he needed to keep his eyes on. The supernatural. The power of a supernatural God. Listen. We don't need no more religious acts. We need the power of the supernatural God moving around us. I said we need something to move and motivate our lives. We need something to change our hearts. We need something to spark up life in our lives. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, there's storms and problems and troubles. But Jesus is walking on that water with you. Jesus says, as long as you keep your eyes on me, you'll not go under. You'll not go under. But you're going to stand the storms. Amen. Somebody said, but God, the storms are so bad. The problems are so high. The situation, the mountains are so high. There's no mountain too high for God. Yeah, but I know one thing. Jesus is the lily of every battle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Woo! Hallelujah. Yeah. My God, he's still the one that knows how to roll back Jordan and roll back the Red Sea. He's still the one that knows how to put a fire by night and a cloud by day. He's still the one that knows how to move in the wilderness land and bring forth water where there ain't no water. He's still the one that wakes you up in the late hours of night and says, Child, I love you. No matter what your neighbor says about you, no matter what your family says again, that little that, that feeling comes and says, Child, I'm holding on to you. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll be with you all the way, even to the ends of the world. And something down inside says, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, folks. My God, He's real. Yes. Hallelujah. I said, He's real. I'm glad to know that I can walk as long as I keep my eyes on Him. Amen. 
Huh? Amen. Say amen. amen. I'm glad to know I can keep on walking. Somebody said, now you preach all the bad. What about the good? All the good's coming. I want to be on that ship of prosperity. Huh? That's right. I'm not just talking about natural prosperity. I'm talking about spiritual prosperity. Amen. Yeah. Bible said after Jesus had died, the disciples said, well, let's go back fishing. They took him. They killed him. They destroyed him. <coughs> Peter said, I go fish. They said, I'll go with you. Yeah. Follow the crowd. Yeah. There's a crowd. Yeah. And the Bible said they told all that. Never called nothing. All night they told they labored. But the nest was empty. Maybe your nest empty right now. Maybe you really don't have the spiritual life that you want to have. Maybe your spiritual life is not exactly where you, you want it to be. Somebody said, but I'm dancing. I don't care if you dance and jump three pews. Maybe your spiritual life's not where it's supposed to be. Amen. 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 I tell you something. I really know I'm right with God, not ever shout. I tell you what makes me want to shout, knowing that I am right with God. Yeah. Amen. I don't want to shout and say, well, God, I ain't right, but I'll shout anyhow. Yeah. Amen. I shout because I know my Redeemer's alive. Yeah. I rejoice because I know that He's real. I rejoice because I know I'm in love with Him. Hallelujah. I shout because I know my Jesus is alive and alive forevermore. Yeah. And the Bible said, they cast their nets out and come back in. Oh, you say, I know there's some of you here used to hold it, you can drop an egg and not crack it. Sure. But somebody's probably been thrown out of the net. Yeah. Come on back in. But well, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. If thou can believe, the Bible said, and then the day begin to come. 